穿狗。Day two in Philly, and it's raining harder than yesterday. It's our first stop after coffee. Yeah, we got coffee at a place called Elixir. Yes, pretty unique name. Yeah, and yeah, no, they have very good beans, uh, coffee beans. Also, they have the pastry. Yeah. That one is was wonderful. We got a um, almond croissant. And they had a, a roasting machine in the back. So I checked out their website, and they won a bunch of awards: mm -hmm. roasting awards, barista awards, all across the U.S. Check yeah. them out if you're in Philly area. It's Elixir Coffee. Yeah. And now we are at Philadelphia Museum of Art. Yeah, this place is amazing. It's huge. And uh, we, when we get a ticket, you will get a map and all the information will be inside. They have a third floor and also another building that you can check in, which is you um, have two days for that ticket. So yeah. check them out if you don't have much time today and tomorrow, and you can come back to check in. But just make sure that that building is open. So. And they have and some amazing artwork yeah, here. What's, right? on the, what's on the cover? On the Van cover Gogh is sunflower. Van Gogh sunflower. I so, thought it was in real, yeah. but no real. dupes here. It's a real deal. Okay, so this, and I think that the, the first pages is like you must see. So they have also the Picasso and Van Gogh. This most and Monet. Yeah. All right. Let's go find this artwork. Let's go. This is what they were jousting. That's insanely incredible how thick that metal is. They did it for fun. The horses would go at each other. They would hold the stick. And he wore that on his left, I guess, because the other horse was coming on this side with the stick. And you could see like little things in the metal. They did it for fun. Imagine that. That was like their thing to do. Pretty amazing stuff. Full armor for the horse and the knight. I think these rooms in the museums are my favorite, like the medieval rooms, the seal, like this body armor, the weaponry. These rooms are my favorite, and also the ones where they redecorate, like the one with the ceiling that we saw before, when they redo the whole room, it's like the period time. Absolutely amazing. And they also have the arms for the boys too. The middle dress, it made from seaweed and very creative. One thing that I curious how they get rid of smell. We made it and... We're gonna head over to a bar because the restaurant opens at 5. It's about 4 now. We saw so, endless artwork. Yeah, we saw uh, popular arts and a famous artist yeah. and also the uh, we saw the the future um, innovations about food and also the fashion. 
which is um, designed, they made it from the seaweed. But I'm really curious, how did it get rid of smell? <laughs> Yeah, it's got cold outside. Yeah, so, it's got yeah. much colder. Check out these views though, it cleared up so yeah. much. Yeah, it's windy. Everyone's doing the little rocky dance at the top of the stairs. <laughs> we ran up them before because it was raining. Okay. Walking outside right now, and we'll see you at the bar. What a cute little bar and like super quiet. I like the decoration, they have books on the shelf and on the menu, they turn the book into menu. It's a really cool idea. Great cocktail menu, yeah. like very creative. When I first saw the pictures of the place, I thought all the books were real, but so what they did was they wallpapered like a mural, mm -hmm. but they did have real books there. Yeah, and they have real books. Very quiet spot, so that was... Writer, block, rehab. Now off to dinner. Yeah. See you there. It is a happy hour right now. We are Bud and Marilyn. And also right now it's a happy hour. I'm not sure when they start, but our server said they have the happy hour at this moment. So we ordered um, Cameron meal and uh, gin slut. We are starving. <laughs> yeah, we, we are so hungry. So hungry all day. Which I got a um, small breakfast and also Peter just got like a bar in the morning. So that's all we had all day. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's just a huge glass. It's like a coffee glass. So my glass is like a pretty unique. Cheers. So much cranberry. Might like a little bit smoky, but sweet. Very nice one. And one of the specials for happy hour was like a. It's a Moscow Mule with cranberry juice, right? Is that what they said? And I, I expected it to be like super purple, but it's not like very happy about that because I thought it was going to be like cranberry vodka, but it's just Moscow Mule with a splash of cranberry, not even like just a little bit. Thanks. Gao. Mod Gao. The bun, Nashville hot bun. We got two Nashville hot buns, fried chicken, dill pickle, ranch pickle. This must be like, so we've seen this chicken sandwich a couple of places in pictures. It's a fried chicken sandwich with pickles and coleslaw. Um, they've got it here, it's called the Nashville Hot Bun. We're gonna get two of those because we're starving. Should we get pierogi? Pierogi is like um, a Polish dumpling. And the one that they have here, it's brown butter, shallot, apple, celery, salad, mustard, creme fraiche. Are you okay with that? Yeah. Okay. Fine. We're getting pierogi. We just got back from dinner and we had our two beds and we were wondering, are they gonna make it? And they did. Eileen. She's working here. She wrapped a pillow with one of our pretty t-shirts. Thank you so much. That means everything. Um, dinner was, I think dinner was okay. The appetizers were good. What did we get for the appetizers? The chicken sandwiches, those were good. The pierogi, delicious. Um, very tasty. But the scallops, oversalted, I think. Um, texture was good. Taste was good. Aside from the salt, they were good. Um, and then what do we have? Chicken. Chicken! Yeah. Um, dark meat, okay. White mm -hmm. meat, dry. That's my, th my opinion. Chicken was just dry. But maybe they just messed it up a little bit and overcooked it. Everything else was delicious. And also your cocktail? Delicious cocktail. Moscow Mule with a little bit of cranberry juice. I don't know what else made it special, but they told us in the beginning. I don't remember. 
It was good. Tomorrow we're going to try to figure out early in the morning which restaurants have uh, reservations available for New Year's Eve. Or we might go check out fireworks. We've been looking around trying to figure out what to do. Anyway, we're going on a food tour tomorrow and Wednesday. It's going to be like a two-day experience. So follow us. Hit that like button. Subscribe. The bell. You'll get notified. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.